What up, what up, it's your girl, Jock Chris. Big day for Jerry Media. We're going on stage in an hour. We're all a little bit nervous. <laughs> This is the pre-meeting room, we got 40 minutes till we go up. This is going to be this is going to be displayed on your confidence monitor. We have it all built in and then all we want you to do is like you have it queued up on your phone as soon as it's you're ready to hit post. Just plug that in, hit post, and then that's all we want. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen while we're up there. Elliot's gonna show a picture for a meme and the audience is gonna suggest a caption at the end. Whoever's got the highest votes on the caption, Elliot's gonna post his fuck Jerry. Kind of a cool concept, get the crowd involved. I'm excited for this. Uh, we are currently backstage at uh, South by Southwest. We are about to do a panel talk in T minus 30. And um, I'm nervous as hell. I just saw the room, it looks fucking massive. Supposedly there's a big thousand people there, it's overflowing and stuff. Um, we have a friend Lee, he came to support. We got Jess, who's gonna be in the crowd supporting, obviously. We got Ellie, who's gonna be probably doing most of the heavy lifting on the panel itself. And then we got Crispy himself, who is probably gonna do absolutely nothing. agency that does services like social media management and media buying for a dozen clients um, and we have uh, a bestseller adult board game um, that's doing phenomenally well. You know you're always going to piss somebody off uh, and when we look at you guys we're like well you know what do you say to a shampoo brand or a soap brand or a Windex or a cleaning brand right like what is our like what do you say to us to have because I want to push, I want to push that engagement, but obviously my manager is a 50-year-old sure. who doesn't get it. Um, so I'd love to hear like <laughs> your thoughts on it. And yeah, we, we work with the brands that are willing to be a little bit more edgy, and you can see that in things like Jack in the Box and Burger King. Their product is, differentiates a little bit from their competitors, but the way you market is the only way you're going to connect with the people who are buying your products, and I think that's what we do a great job, especially like telling new clients like. Um, it can be it can be Windex. We I would love to do a campaign for Windex. Um, the, the challenge isn't the product; it's the creative. You have to be able to find a way to connect to the audience in a unique way. And it boggles my mind when CMOs of companies who are a little bit aged don't listen to us and they give us their ideas about Instagram and it's it, they they don't even totally understand the platforms and how to connect and even the the, the words that are, are used on Instagram. Like we had a, a CMO who was. Um, uh, who had a great, who was an incredible brand, and um, she was just a little outdated. She asked us uh, what AF was, and this is a, this is just like a common scenario that we come through. We, it's, it's our job to explain to them this is how you have to do it, and it, uh, it's just a unique way. And I think brands are starting to evolve. Thanks again to everybody who came. We just got to Whitney's Lake House. Uh, it's on the water. We've been here before. It's friggin' amazing. She's got a huge party here uh, for Bumble. They've got like three big areas, but uh, excited to see her and the rest of the crew. Wait to see this house though. Every 
vote, they will donate $5 to charity. What's happening? Women! Celebrating 